Hey everyone, Courtney here with BC Camping Adventures. If you're not already following us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, make sure you head on over to those platforms and give us a follow. Our handle is BC Camping Adventures. And then if you're not subscribed to us yet here on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a printer. Now I know that doesn't seem fun or exciting, uh, but when we decided to sell our home and 90% of our belongings last uh, late spring, early summer, um, we decided we still wanted to have a printer with us. And of course, when you're downsizing everything, you can't have like a ginormous printer. So we did a ton of research to find the printer that would meet all of our needs, just the basic needs of printing, copying, or scanning. And we found the HP OfficeJet 250 all-in-one portable printer. Um, the setup was very easy. Uh, make sure though when you're doing the setup that your laptop and your printer are both on the same Wi-Fi otherwise you will run into some problems and you will also need to download the HP smart app you can also download and install the HP printer software I did the smart app just because it was an easy thing to do I'm um, downloading an app versus downloading a whole software and then we also bought a carrying case it's just a hard travel case that um, we found on Amazon like where we found the printer and the case it has it zip shut it has a strap um, it's compact I mean it fits nicely up in our storage up front so I'm gonna switch you around quick and show you what the app looks like the printer and the carrying case so this is what the HP uh, smart app looks like on the computer as you can see yes our printer is offline at the moment um, but when you go to add um, a printer you literally click add new printer and then it's gonna search for printers. Now, of course, nothing is going to be available. Um, well, except for ours, that's offline. But if your printer is up and running, connect same Wi-Fi, it will pop up and then you hit, you know, you click on it and then just follow the prompts. Like I said, super easy. And then you can see, you can uh, scan from here, you can print from here, um, all the things. Uh, so it's this app is very easy to use. Um, I haven't run into any issues yet with it. And then now I'll show you what the printer and the carrying case looks like. So here's the printer. This is what it looks like when it's all closed up. Um, very small, compact. So this top here you will flip open. This is where your uh, paper will go, of course. And then if you need to do any scanning or copying, this is when you'll open this, but otherwise that can stay shut. Your power button is right here. Uh, this, is, this indicator here, that is the battery. So um, when it's charging, that will be lit up. Um, when it's charging, it's like an orangish color. And then when it's done, it's green. This guy here, that is the wireless connection. So of course, nothing's lit up. Um, but this wireless connection will be blue when it's connected. Now, when you first turn on the printer, it will blink blue. But once it's done blinking and it's um, a solid blue that means you are connected over here this is like the command center this is where you can do everything that you can do on the um, HP smart app um, but when I turn it on I'll show you what that looks like and then um, to get to your ink you just pop that up there if you saw that yeah you just pop that up when the printer is on of course the ink will move to the center and you can change it we haven't had to change it yet because we don't use it as much but that's um what the ink cartridge would be and then here's the uh, carrying case it zips shut um, it has a little pocket on the inside it has velcro to hold it in place and then it also has a carrying strap or this right here um, works well like i said it's a hard one so you know hopefully nothing happens to the printer while we travel all right i'm going to turn this on for you and show you what that looks like All right, now as you can see, the wireless uh, button is blinking blue. So hopefully within the next few seconds, it will be a solid blue and that's when you know 
it is connected to the Wi-Fi. All right, and there you have it. It is connected. And so now I will show you um, how to print and scan and copy. And just for reference or to look, it did connect on the HP Smart App and it does say no tray empty or open. Um, of course, yeah, there's no paper in there and you can see the supplies um, still holding on strong even after having this printer for almost a year. So be right back. All right, so you can print one of two ways. You can print from the HP Smart App by clicking on print documents or you can go directly to the document that you want to print and click on print and then just make sure that the printer that's selected is the print this office jet 250 and then if you want to change your portrait lands or landscape um, however many pages you have to print if you want it in black and white or color print on both sides everything like that and then you click on print uh, but from the HP Smart app, you click on print documents. Um, it'll pop up with a f with the folder. You click on the page you need to print. Click print, of course. Um, make sure the printer is selected that you want the 250 uh, Office Jet 250. Um, like I said, and the other um, print option, you know, change your orientation. Uh, paper type, you know, everything like that if you need to. And then um, from there you click print. And then it will connect to the printer. And once it connects, um, it'll start printing. And there you have it. So now, um, next I will show you how to scan and copy. All right, to scan, you'll want to flip that open. And then if you have a large sheet, I just recommend, you know, pulling that all the way out. And then you will want to make sure that, I guess you can say, which, whichever, whichever page you need to print or scan, excuse me, you want that to be down. So I wrote front and you want to make sure that way is down. And then when you push in the paper, you will hear a noise. It'll make a noise. Um, make sure you hear that noise. Otherwise, the um, it won't be the paper will not be detected. So then you'll come back over to the uh, laptop and you'll click on scan. And then um, just you know all your settings if you need to change any of them, and then click on scan. And then as you can see, it scans up versus coming back out. And then once that's done, it'll pop up on your computer or laptop. And as you can see, there you go. And then from there, if you need to print it or save it, share it, whatever you need to do, you can do it that way. And then now I will show you how to make a copy. All right, to copy, it's the same concept. Whatever you were trying to copy, make sure you put that face down and then feed it into the document uh, reader. And as you can see, it says document loaded. It also made a chime. I um, I don't know if you're able to hear that on this, but make sure you see that document loaded. If you don't see that, it's not gonna detect it's there. And then you'll come and click on copy. You'll uh, pick the number of copies you need and then you can either start black or start color. I'm just gonna click start color and then it'll um, scan and copy. Pretty simple. And there you have it. Uh, printing, scanning, and copying. So the printer does come with the cord. You plug it in right there. There's that end. And then of course, it's just the normal plug in for the outlet. And then it does have a rechargeable battery, so that's what you're charging up. So it is removable as well, so if you need to get a new one, you are able to remove it. All right, I hope you found that useful. Um, I know when I first got this printer and I needed to make a copy, or was it the scan, whichever, I honestly could not figure it out. The, every, all the brochures that came with the printer, it did not 
tell you how to scan or copy. And so I went to YouTube, or first, actually, first I um, Googled and I could not come up with anything. So I went to YouTube and there was nothing else either. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just figure this out on my own. And of course I did. So I'm hoping this will help you if you have the same printer and are unsure how to use those functions. Or if you are in the market for a new printer and are looking for something small, compact, just, you know, does the basics, nothing too big. Um, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. Thank you. And thanks for watching.